Nigel, thanks for the invitation. It's great to be the first to see this UMC 5-axis machine. It's eagerly anticipated. I want to talk about some of the key points on the machine, how it's built and, and why you really selected this model to sell it. And I'd like to start really with the, 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 the strong, rigid gantry construction. Tell me about that, Nigel. Yeah, it's a, a nine-ton machine and um, of a gantry construction. Which, um, which makes it more rigid and, and um, gives strength and rigidity to the, to the cross slide, to the x-axis. I see the, see the x-axis is moving on the column there. It looks fully supported on either side as well, doesn't it, which is where, is where the gantry comes in. It, it's fully supported on both sides and there's an overhang towards the front of the machine that gives it a big y-axis supported travel. As we see that moving now, actually. Yes, as you see it moving now. Let's move on to the table as well here, because another point here in the brochure, it says about 90, p 90 RPM high torque driven table. So I'm assuming that's the C-axis. It is, it's the C-axis. And th the reason we chose a, a torque motor is that it's got zero backlash. And when we're looking for accuracy, that's the kind of thing we need. The bonus is that it gives us a 90 RPM. And the 90 RPM allows it to um, cut components faster slower um, rotary axes can slow the overall time manufacturing a component. So it's a, it's a fast machine at 90 RPM like you say when you're doing five axis machine in point to point you need to get there quickly and we can see that rotating there. And, and yes that's correct but also when you're actually machining you might not use the full 90 RPM but if you say only had 25 or 30 RPM it could slow the whole manufacturing process. Okay another point high rigidity roller type linear guideway so all axes are equipped with 45 millimeter roller guideways, correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, you need linear roller um, slideways on all machines like this because of the rigidity and speed. Um, ball bearings are no good, ball bearings are no good on machines of this accuracy. Then also, the, um, coming down to some of the options on the machine, we talk about a side mount tool change here, which I'm sure we'll see changing yeah. shortly. You've got a, a various options, 24, 32, 48, and 60. What, why the options? Well, because someone making a mould tool might only want to have a smaller tool change capacity and somebody who's in full production with, mo with um, making automotive or aerospace parts might want a 60 station tool changer. So we've got variable, uh, variable amounts uh, as you say and this one's fitted here as standard with the 48 station. And then what about your spindle here as well because you've got inline spindle and again you've got quite a few options on this. Yeah, we've chosen the 15,000 to stock. Um, we, we've got seven machines coming in shortly and they've got varying spindles of 12,000, 15, 18 and 24,000. But again, it's just what the customer wants, the material is cut in, so we don't know what they want. We can get anything on a special order, but as you see around our factory, we've got 300 machines here in stock and we just like to be able to deliver very quickly to the customer. I, I also like here the, the way this is configured. I like the way this table is open, easy to load. Was that one of your sort Ab of... Absolutely, a lot of, absolutely. A lot of our competitors, they've got the table tilting this way, and when it tilts that way, it means there's a, usually a bearing support on the front, which means it's more difficult to get into the table. This has got a 600 kilogram load capacity, and I can't lift 600 kilos, I don't know about you, but if we go in there with a forklift, we can get right up to the table or we can lift from the top. So the, the roof opens as well, like a concertina? This, is, this has got the automatic roof, um, the automatic roof on it because um, you normally buy that with the 70 bar high pressure coolant, but we just bought it as an example. And on this one here, we've got the standard 20 bar high pressure coolant. Okay, what, what, what about coming back to the table, the, the, the size of part you could fit on this and what you could machine height-wise as well as width? Ah, right, very important, very important factor. This has got a, a 600 millimeter y-axis. And what that means is that when the table tilts, tilts vertical, we can machine a component that's 500 millimeters long. Now, we've only got 600 millimeters of travel but the spindle can only travel 100 millimetres behind the table. But I hope we don't start machining the table. Um, the 500 millimetres is very, very important to us because not many of our competitors can get that, that traverse in. 
That is a very important point. Uh, but you also mentioned it earlier about the, the C-axis here, the 90 RPM. You, you, part of this is about accuracy when you're machining. As a collective with that, you've got linear scales on this machine throughout, haven't you? Yeah, we've got linear scales on the machine on X, Y and Z. And then we've got high precision, the highest precision rotary encoders that money can buy on the pivot centers of the A and C axes. It's important that they're on the A and they're, they're on the pivot centers of these, these to give us the best accuracy we can. But also, to add to that, we've chosen Siemens and Heidenheim as the main controls. And on both of them, you can use something that Heidenheim called Kinematic and Siemens called Triori. And this is a, a software that allows for very, very accurate um, information about where the table and the component is at any one time. Without that, you can't get the accuracy. So people who really need super accuracy need to buy these options. So people that need super accuracy, this machine will, will suit them? Absolutely. It's, it's competitive with some of the best people in the game. I'd like to probably sort of near the end of this interview by talking about why you've gone down the road of the five axis machine. You, you're very popular in the market with your vertical machining centres, turning centres, yep. lathes. Why the five axis, Nigel? Um, because we see it as a growth market. In England, it's been increasing steadily over the last few years. You can probably see that by more people coming into the market. But now in Germany, we believe that almost 30% of machining centres sold in Germany are five axis. So it's a growth market. It's not just for complicated work. You might just want to use this as a four plus one or a three plus two. It is five axis simultaneous, but you can use it as four plus one or three plus two. And um, you can grab hold of a job on just a couple of millimetres of, of purchase and machine the, the five sides of a cube. And so that gives you the option to leave the machine running for longer, especially if you have the, the bigger tool change off. And, and will you be bringing these machines in here, in your usual style, in stock? Yep, yeah, as I said, we've got seven on the way, and uh, we've, probably, we've got them all to slightly different specifications. We've probably got all seven of them slightly wrong. Um, but yeah, and, and you're a businessman and a very successful one. How many of these do you anticipate selling in the first year? Oh, I think, no, I think the best answer to that is that I'm totally useless at forecasting. But years ago, when I was asked how many prototypes I'd sell in my first year, I said 12 and sold 600. So am I really the person to ask? No, you, you'll saying, sell a lot, I'm, I'm sure. We're, we're, we're hoping that we can sell one a, one a month in our first year. And if we achieve that, we'll be delighted. And we hope to go onwards from that. And when you're selling these machines, people are going to want to know what it costs. Tell us how much these machines are. Well, we've priced this to start at around the just less than the 150,000 mark, which we think is a competitive price for such a super machine to such a high specification. We could wash some price out of that by getting rid of the putting a, a, a worm and wheel table on there, by getting rid of the the linear scales. But we don't want to do we want a, a machine that we can deliver be reliable be accurate and we can sleep at night knowing the customer's happy it sounds like a, a cracking price for a cracking machine it's great to be the first to see it so thanks nigel